Hello once again everybody. This is Cooking with Jude's and today we are doing a bread pudding. Now this is one of my favourites. So I've got like a quarter of bread right here. Just slices. You can use any bread. You can even use bagel if you have it. And we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna just like tear it up a little bit. Yeah, just like that. You know, just rip. There we go. And we are now gonna add a cup of water. Just pour it over to soften everything up. There we go. We have a smusher. Smush it in. Get it all smushed in just like that. See? Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to pour a cup of coconut milk. Let's just use half for the moment. So that's half a cup. Okay. And now we're going to add half a cup of melted butter. Then half a cup of sugar. You can use brown sugar or white sugar, whatever your choice may be. Sweet. Then one tablespoon vanilla. Down the edge. Quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. One teaspoon salt, half a teaspoon cinnamon. I'm gonna just okay, we're done using our smusher now. We're gonna go to the eggs. We're gonna add two eggs. One. our spatula and we're just gonna mix it in now if it looks a little bit too liquidy we're gonna have to put more bread so in my case it does seem a little liquidy so I'm going to go and I'm gonna get me four more slices of bread to add to my batter okay Okay, here I am. One, two, three, four. We're just going to do what we did before, mince them up, stick them in there. And use our smusher. It's never too late to add. That's the good thing about cooking and baking. You can always add a little bit more. The bad thing is you can't add a little less because it's already in your batter. But, see, now it's taking that consistency form that I really want. So, here we go. This is how it's supposed to look. There we go. See, not too liquidy, you know, just nice and fluffy. If you want, you can add raisins or craisins and you know, you know just spice it up a bit you can use caramel and you can just you know just not really whip it in just put it on top and just pop it into the oven today I am going to put a little bit of raisins in mine because I really like raisins and so I'm gonna get myself even a quarter cup and put in there okay here I have a quarter cup of raisins just pouring it in there get these things out of the way and if you've noticed I haven't even used all my coconut milk I only used half of 
what I originally planned to use. So we're stirring this in. So we're downsizing our coconut milk now to instead of one cup to a half a cup. Okay. And we'll be putting this into my bread pan. Yes. Now, I'll be buttering my pan with a stick of butter just to make sure that my bread doesn't stick to my pan and make sure the edges are caught. Okay. And also, I like, you know, colorful things. So I've opened up some, you know, muffin cups and I will be sticking them alongside just for a little bit of decoration, tiny bit of color. Doesn't matter what color it has. It could be even the brown parchment paper one. It'll, you know, give your baking a little bit of decoration, a little bit of design. So, anywho, but that could just be me, but I, I like it. Now, we're gonna pour this into our pan. Pour it into our loaf pan, okay. Just like that. If you want, you can also use chocolate chip. Okay, so now this is what it looks like. We're going to put this in our oven at 350 degrees for at least an hour. Now, so it's now time to take our bread pudding out of the oven. Okay, so let's do that now. Okay, fantastic. Okay, let's get it out. Do a little test. Yep, clean. Okay, there we are, bread pudding. So, one of the reasons why I put these little pieces of paper under it, because it comes in real handy when you have to take your bread pudding or anything else out of your pan. the four corners and pull it out see just like that and you just soak your pan so that's your bread pudding everybody we can cut into it you see That's what it looks like in a nutshell. There we go. Like and subscribe and thank you for watching.